Okay, we back once again, and Kevin Hart is facing some backlash and people digging up his history because he was named uh, the host for the Oscars this year, and people did not like that Kevin Hart was hosting the Oscars because you know why? Because Kevin Hart is black, I believe it is, and people did not want this black man that has that's very successful, one of the best comedians in the world, the most popular comedian, the popping comedian. He's the Eddie Hearn and Aaron Pryor of his time. That's not as vulgar and belligerent as those and more G rated than those guys is and they're very popular and people not have, happy with Kev, uh, you know, hosting the Academy Awards or the Oscars. And now they're digging up his history to old tweets that he made years ago that had some uh, uh, some homophobic or some gay slurs or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and people are digging that up to really protest and stop him from hosting the Oscars, good fellow sports TV. I appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time we grinded. And um, I'm going to link the article with, uh, from TMZ that has the video. And we talk about the video he dropped and some of the tweets he said. Um, he just said basically it's the, the gayest uh, ish ever. No homo. Um, also, he says if my son uh, comes home and he's playing with his daughter, his daughter's dial house, I'm going to break it over his head and say in my voice stop that gay stop that ish is gay so basically among, amongst those uh, are two of the four tweets they brought up from years ago and kevin hart uh issued a statement and did the video let's talk about the statement um he put on instagram stop looking for a reason to be negative stop searching for reasons to be angry i swear i wish you guys could see feel or understand the mental place that i am in i am truly happy people there's nothing that you can do to change that Nothing. I work hard on a daily basis to spread positivity to all. With that being said, if you look, you search my history or past and anger yourself with what you find that is fine with me, I'm almost 40 years old, you know, and I'm in love with the man that I'm becoming. You live, you learn, and you grow, and you mature. I live to love. Please take your negative energy and put it into something constructive. Please, what's understood should never have to be said. I love everybody. Once again, everybody. If you choose uh, to not believe me, then that's on you. Have a beautiful day. Now, that was his statement, okay? A lot of people searched his history through social media, probably back before he became famous. Um, you know, like the Migos say, I'd rather be rich than famous. <laughs> Old Migos, man. I like the one that was, you know, coming up independent. But that's no here, no there. But Kevin Hart is basically saying, like, I'm mature, man. Back in the day, I did a lot of dumb ish. I say a lot of dumb ish, and um, I'm mature. And if you want to hold that against me, so be it. I give no fucks. And that, basically, that's how you gotta do. You can't change who you was in the past. You only can change um, who you are in the present and in the future. And I feel Kev, okay? Um, Kev is, is a is a magnet for a lot of hate from even his own black people, okay? Oh, he ain't that funny, or 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 you know, yeah. Uh, you know, Kevin Hart and everything, he must be an Illuminati. Kevin Hart worked hard, okay? Kevin Hart is a very enjoyable stage uh, presence, very enjoyable comedian. I enjoy his uh, work through and through. You know, is he the funniest guy I've ever seen? No, but he's the, the most popular comedian right now. I like Mike. I love Mike Epps, man. You know, one of my favorite comedians. But Kev worked hard. Kev put himself in a position. Kev made power plays. Kev put the team around him. Kev made some mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. I'm tired of human beings casting casting judgment on other human beings because we all make mistakes. I've done things in my past that I'm not proud of that I don't even want to tell my woman I've done. But guess what? You know, you tell them. You live and you learn. She's done things that she probably not proud of. But I can accept it because I can. I understand that we all do dumb shit. I did a lot of dumb stuff. I had a girlfriend one time, and, we, and I don't know why. You know, she came over. We kicking it. And I grabbed her by her butt. And I just picked her up and dropped her, and she left. We we ended up getting over it, but it was just stupid, you know. I didn't cash in that night because of some idiotic thing I did. I wasn't high, I wasn't drunk. Just guys do stupid stuff. You never know. He could have been drunk. He could have just been feeling himself that night. He could have been under the influence. He was young. People didn't think about saying some of that stuff back in the day. People say, "Oh, that's gay," or or this and that, and just use it as a term of of not, you know, slander or not, you know, negativity. And now everything you say. Or or you said in the past is now being scrutinized and now, you know, oh, he said this back in the day like like people never made a mistake. And basically, this all stems from him hosting the Oscars. They do not want him hosting the Oscars. They probably would have rather have a face with less melon in it. But guess what? 
If they pull them from the Oscars, that's going to let people know they got the power to choose who they want to be in the Oscars. And that's the point. Just put a poll up and have people vote on who they want to host the Oscars, a.k.a. the Academy Awards, I believe it is. Just do it that way, okay? Kev ain't stressing. Kev, Kev ain't going to cry because he missed the Academy Awards. Kev has done things that most comedians never got a chance to do. Period. Okay? Kevin Hart probably couldn't dream that he'd be in this position of financial stability and popularity around the world. Okay? He got drunk at the Super Bowl and said some things on can't cussed on camera. Okay, we all make mistakes. Okay? And that's what people want to do. They want to search your history. They want to, you know, indict you. They want to publicly strip you. But you know what? In the hood, we ain't gonna turn on Kevin Hart. We said a lot, we use that word all the time. But now if you say this, oh, or I seen something that Peter say that you should stop saying uh they want you to stop saying the comments, uh, comments say, oh, bring home the bacon. They offended now that people are saying bring home the bacon, bro. They want you to say something else. Like, really? Really? We offending the pigs by saying bring home the bacon? I actually don't eat bacon. I stopped eating pork quite some time ago. But that's just how sensitive this society is, man. Okay? Really, Peter said they want you to stop saying bring home the bacon because it's, insens it's, it's insensitive talk about pigs, bro. Not killing the bacon and then cooking the bacon and eating the bacon and bringing the bacon home. and It's crazy, bro. But he did make a video addressing this as well. And um, Kev said on social media that basically what he said in the video, he said, I did a lot of stuff when I was dumb, young, you know, dumb. When I was young, that was stupid. You know, I'm grown. I'm past that. If people want to bring up my past, so be it. If people can't get up, fuck them. You know, I remember a house party when, when Bernie Mac told uh was a house party three told kids it was like if people can't understand the f them and that's what you gotta have you can't please everybody man and that's one thing i learned throughout life that's one thing i learned on youtube everybody not gonna feel my opinion i can't please 10 people 100 people 10,000 people a hundred thousand people every somebody gonna have something negative to say about whatever video i do i could do the best video uh, the most uplifting video but somebody could be like well you didn't really pronounce that word right or or really this i mean people just do that you know, people live to be upset. People live to be cranky. People live to complain. People just don't enjoy life. People on the internet just want to tear him down because he gonna host the Oscars. Now the Oscars can be like, okay, this is backlash care from thousand years ago. We don't want to let you host it. Okay, so be it. Okay, that's just letting you know that people can select and force who they want to enforce who they want to be hosting the Oscar, hosting any other war show. If I'm Kevin Hart, I don't want your award no more. I don't want your Oscar. I don't want nothing to do with you. Don't mention my name. If you're going to bring it, bring that up, like each and every one of you on this Oscar panel that probably voted me or approved me in ain't never did nothing bad, okay? Like the players in the NFL with the DV cases, like, okay, we understand they on camera doing something they shouldn't been doing. But people that's judging them, you act like you've never been in that position, Plenty of guys have been in that position, but it's not publicized. There's plenty of guys, the CEO of, of multi-million dollar companies and all this, have done way worse, okay? But also, it's all about exploiting the black guy, the black man. When the black man get too big, they got to bust this bubble, okay? When he started to get too much power, oh, even his own, the own black community say, oh, Kev, it's probably an Illuminati. Kev, it's probably this. Kev probably sold his soul. No, Kev just worked hard, Okay? Kev worked hard. Kev is funny. Kev, it's Kev material. Kev put his friends on. One of Kev's friends turned on him. And told his, I think told his wife that he was cheating on her or, or snitched on him. That's the things you got to deal with. Mentally, you got to put yourself in another stratosphere, another zone to deal with the BS when you're on that type of level. Okay? A popularity. You can't flinch every time somebody says something bad around. You can't react every time somebody got something negative to say about it. You got to take the high road now. The Kev... Could have went to social media, had a shot of yak, you know, with some Hennessy, or he could have got some Louis, uh, Louis the Thirteenth. He could have got some uh, Remy, could have got some Rock, and went on the internet and went on the tirade and say, you know, f you, oh you, you. He didn't do that, bro. He said his team called you and said it's pretty a lot of backlash coming about from some tweets you said a thousand years ago. He said, you know what it is? Cry two tears in the bucket. Forget it. It is what it is. I can't change what I was, but all I can do is come out here and say that was the old me. I'm a new guy. And people kill me when they talk about these young dudes, these young athletes with money. Oh, I would do this and that. Boy, when you was 19, 20, 21, 23 years old with means if, with a couple of dollars, a hundred, a couple thousand dollars, a couple pennies in your pocket, you did plenty of things that you weren't proud of. Okay, plenty of college kids do things 
that they weren't proud of. Okay, I would have college teammates and college dorm buddies do a whole bunch of dumb shit. Okay, real talk. Didn't have money to eat after cafeteria closed. One of the Papa John's pieces. Some guys would suit up, boot up, put their mask on and go go to work and go get some money somehow, some way, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, and I'm pretty sure they tell their kids that they don't do that. And they wasn't proud of that. and They don't glorify that. They don't even want to speak about it. But that's reality. You live and you learn. Some people make mistakes at 16 years old to 22 years old to 20, 18 years old, okay, that they never can get a redo, okay? Some of us is unfortunate to commit a mistake or commit a crime and not get caught and not do it again and learn from the mistake and be better people, okay? Hopefully they don't take Kev out of hosting the Oscars. I think that would be disgusting. I think Kevin Hart deserves that Oscar spot. He's worked hard. He's genuinely funny. He's not corny. Black people like him. Indian people like him. Or Native American, excuse me. Mexican people like him. Black people, we love him. White people love we Everybody love Kev Hart, man. He's a great choice to host the Oscars. He's a different choice. So let him get it in one time for the one time, all right? You know? But people just want to drag him down because it ain't their choice. I don't know who they want to host the Oscars. You know, there's plenty of people that probably want to be far less funnier than Kevin Hart. You know, that's just that's just the internet. The social media internet in general is a is a is a is a it's a treacherous place to be. Okay? It is. You know? Everybody wanna pull up your past, pull up your old tweets. Like, dude, you rather go through Kevin Hart's Twitter page from a thousand years ago. What what are you doing? Why are you not at work making money? You probably living off welfare, you know, uh getting a, a food uh, uh 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 you know, a bridge card, you know, getting welfare. In food stamps. All right? You know, when you could be doing something productive with your life, you're trying to do something counterproductive and bring somebody else back. But that negative energy in life comes back to haunt you, okay? All that negativity and that hating, it come back tenfold on you. And you're going to be asking God why or higher power. Why this happened to me? Because that's the negativity you produce in the world. It's the karma that come back to you. That negative energy you put out is going to come back to you. So, you know, Kevin Hart don't ha- Kevin Hart don't have to get anybody explanation on what and when he or what he did from years ago. I'm thinking these these tweets was from yesterday or 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 sometime this year from years ago. He probably ain't used the Twitter account for real for years. So at the end of the day, hopefully they don't pull Kevin Hart from the Oscars. Man, he definitely deserved that shot, man. But obviously they're trying to hurt your brand. Um, but you know, it is what it is, man. He definitely. Put in the work to deserve that spot and that work that he put in. But um, I'm going to uh, put the uh, TMZ article in the description. You can see the video. You can read the Instagram post. Um, you know, you can see everything yourself and see the tweets that he said. I'll try to keep it PG-13 rated. Um, but, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm trying to bring Kevin Hart down as usual. Uh, good fella Sports TV. Don't forget it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell icon button. Won't miss another video. You dig? And if you're interested in anything Detroit, you can check out my other channel, Motor City Sports Talk. We talk sports and other stuff. And also, Chrysler is opening up a new plant in the Metro Detroit area. I want to tell that to all my Detroiters at the General Motors pull two plants as well. But don't forget, we on Facebook, we on Twitter, we on, uh, also you can email me. If you've got a video request, a question, a business inquiry, you can reach me on those platforms. Also, we got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description. Also, one of the intro instrumental link is that's in the description.